This is Cameron Chai from Azom, and today I'll bring you another episode of Azom.com TV. And today I'm speaking to Alexander Stefanovic from Panalytical, and he's going to tell us about their Empyrean XRD system. Thank you. As you can see, um, uh, we had a chance basically to exhibit uh, our new instrument uh, for diffraction at uh, XA meeting this year, and it is called Empyrean, and it's a, a new member of our X-ray diffraction family. It's a multi-purpose uh, uh, diffractometer uh, with a lot of new technology and basically a new platform for very versatile experimental and scientific work. Um, I think that uh, it's a good moment basically to draw maybe attention to an essence of this uh, instrument which is our Pixel 3D detector and this is the uh, only detector which can basically function as a point detector, a linear detector, 2D detector and also it is used in the computerized tomography. Now what I'm looking at at the moment is not only a diffractometer, it's a basically a versatile a platform which uh, uh, can uh, serve as an experimental instrument for dif diffraction, for scattering, small angle scattering as well as the total scattering or pair distribution function as well as computerized tomography. Now in this way basically we give the scientists and industrial analytical specialists the platform in which they can combine the nano size uh, uh, part of the structural investigation and characterization with the microstructural size of the materials and also the objects. Thank you. And, and how long has the Empyrean been on the market now? We launched it uh, in February last year. And is it a fairly high resolution instrument? Like yeah. The, um, among uh, one of the advantages of this uh, uh, system is that all uh, uh, goniometers are of the high resolution. And it can cope with all sorts of different materials, like obviously XRD can do powders and yes, solids, correct. it can do other, other material, thin films. So if you look at the materials, then uh, basically you can say that uh, uh, anything which is from the powder, thin films, uh, uh, nanomaterials, as well as the three-dimensional objects can be analyzed and characterized on this platform. And obviously you can deal with, the oh it's got a multi-sample changer there on, on this particular instrument. So uh, any of the analytical tasks can be basically automated and uh, put in a routine uh, 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 mode. So as uh, you can see here, it's a sample changer uh, with, uh, in this case, uh, um, reflection. <coughs> sample holders can be also for transmission so it can basically work also both in reflection and transmission geometry which can be also automated for automated uh, uh, routine analysis. And so everything's controlled through a software interface presumably? Yes it is and then everything is basically governed by the data collector. Okay, and then you can obviously export the data into different software packages, or, or your your presume your software pro package probably does all sorts of data analysis. We have a full range of the softwares for the data analysis, <coughs> and not only that, we can basically couple the data collection software with any type of uh, analytical software, so that basically we can put together data acquisition as well as uh, data analysis and reporting. So, Alexander, can you tell us about the the CT capabilities of the Empyrean? Yeah. Um, as you may know, for a long time there have been uh, dedicated uh, big city, uh, city instru uh, instruments, but uh, what we did uh, on the Hyperion platform is basically we enable our users, because we have a, a Pixel 3D detector, uh, that basically they can extend the analytical uh, 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 scope by having also the micro CT on the same platform. So what they basically can do is they can use the same instrument, the same detector, in order to study um, the homogeneity uh, of the 3D uh, objects, which are transparent to X-rays. And um, in a different angle, basically, they can combine a diffraction uh, and also CT or micro diffraction and the CT, and get a much different uh, uh, type of the information from the materials uh, to be studied. And what sort of materials, what sort of samples do people usually examine with CT? As we basically uh, launched the Empyrean uh, instrument, uh, 
uh, we have a different uh, uh, type of the users who are combining uh, diffraction work and the computer, computerized uh, tomography on Empyrean. Uh, stemming from uh, pharmaceutical people who would uh, look at a homogeneity of the final dosage form, mainly tablets or capsules. There were people who are in study of the uh, fossils or the archaeological samples. There were forensic people. There were people basically uh, doing a catalyst. So all the people in which you have to combine the information from a nanoscale or the atomic scale and a microstructural scale. So it can, it can resolve down to nanoscopic type particles? Uh, 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 CT itself, no, because it works on a resolution of a uh, 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 micron level. It's a 55 microns, which is uh, resolution at the moment. But it can combine basically information coming from diffraction or <coughs> any other diffraction like matter. So it can simultaneously do X-ray diffraction and... It, uh, the data collection is not simultaneous, but uh, basically the configuration of instruments for computerized tomography is very simple. Uh, the sample is brought basically just in front of the uh, detector, and uh, you don't have any optics in between, basically too much of uh, stuff here, so it's uh, pretty straightforward and cheap uh, for the user who is using uh, uh, the system for diffraction. And are you guys the only ones that currently have this type of technology on the market? Uh, yes, as I integrated uh, in the platform which does mainly, as I said, uh, X-ray diffraction, yes, we are the only one. All right, then that's quite unique. It is very unique, basically. All right, Alexander, and if anybody wants more information, they can find that on your website. Absolutely, yes. That's They're uh, very welcome. Panalytical.com? Yes, www.panalytical.com. Okay, Alexander, thanks very much for your time and tell us about the Empyrean XRD system. You're welcome. Thank you very much.